Hi, I'm Rocco Community. It's me, Warren. Um, and today, hopefully you've seen the blog post uh, from my lovely colleague, Bianca. Uh, Umbraco Netcore Alpha 4 uh, is now out. So obviously make sure and go and uh, download that uh, on the interwebs. That's that's how you download it, by the way. You do it like that. Um, so what I wanted to show you was something that should make your life easier. So let's uh, jump on in and let's take a look. And okay, so what I really wanted to show you um, was uh, that in Umbraco Net Core, rather than settings being in web config, they're in a thing called app settings.json. And settings in .NET Core land can come from various number of sources. It come from a JSON file, it could come from environment variables, it could come from Azure app settings. Um, so obviously things like uh, secrets and things like that obviously you'd put in an environment variable or like the app settings in Azure in the portal uh, but obviously then it can be kind of merged in with um, these JSON app settings however JSON being JSON uh, is like well we, we ship this app settings and this app settings dot development JSON how do I know where the settings live well Yesterday and the day before, so Monday and Tuesday, uh, I spent some time creating some JSON schema. By hand, uh, was a bit painful, but uh, hopefully this is worth the cost for everyone. Uh, so, um, at the minute, I have a, a local reference to the JSON schema file. There is a PR in progress that is pending back to the schema store, so you won't necessarily need to add this schema because it will just get automatically detected because it's an app settings.json file. Anyway, enough of that. Yes, what we're talking about JSON and knowing where settings live. So with JSON schema, I can get some autocomplete about Umbraco CMS settings. Ta-da! So you can see, I can see all the different sections and I know that uh, maybe in global, I want to set, oof, maybe I want to set the SMTP server up. Uh, it's going to have a from address, which is going to be, I don't know, bot on And uh, the host, oh, it's going to be a local host because I'm just going to boot up a, um, uh, boot up a local SMTP server. We'll set it to port 25. Um, so yeah, the, you can see the power here that I'm able to know uh, what properties exist where um, and set them. And obviously I'm on the on the right as I'm scrolling down here, you can see we get a little bit of a description of what uh, this property or settings for uh, and how you're supposed to use it. So I have the, the Embraco back office uh, and I can obviously let me just test that I can log in. What did I set it as? Totally forgotten. There we go. I can't type. Um, I wanted to. Oh, there's someone. Someone's at front door. Someone's at my door. Who's at my door? Someone I don't know. Maybe they'll go away. Um, that totally threw me off. Um, so what was I going to do? 